everybody welcome to the next episode of sydney social life as you know it's a one of its kind thought provoking talk show that puts the spotlight on hidden realities of modern day social circles why do i say hidden realities because we talk about a lot of issues that many people are struggling with but unfortunately not enough people are talking about them of course except us here at sydney social life now what is the purpose of this talk show the purpose is to spark important conversations to foster a community that is positive that is accepting and that is non judgmental now you all know that each week i have a very special guest with me who joins me on the show to put the spotlight on all these important topics and today i know you've been waiting for this <laughs> we have the one and only rishali jain <laughs> Thank you. Thank Welcome, you. Thank you. Rishali. Thank, thank you so much for joining me on Sydney Social Life. How do you feel about being here with me? Oh well, why so late, Nim? <laughs> I have been so excited and looking forward to this episode, <laughs> and I know we have some amazing stuff ready for our viewers. Yeah, no? Right. Are we ready? Yeah, always. Always. Born ready. Yeah, this is the first time. This is like uh, the interviewer has become the interviewee. Yes. So who be to it? Which is ironic. Which is very ironic. Yes. So your uh, listeners, viewers, I'm sure are waiting with bated breath. कि आज ये क्या बोलने वाली हैं? कर क्या रहे हैं हम लोग? क्यों कर रहे हैं ये? So before we dive in, remember to so say hi to us, leave your comments, ask your questions, and if for whatever reason we're not able to address it during the live, then Rishali and I will go through it later, and we'll definitely get back to you, है ना? Yes. Is that a deal? Yes. Fabulous. That's what we do. That's what we, we do. We do it every day, right? Correct. So let me read a little bit about Rishali. I mean, everyone really knows a lot about Rishali already, but let's just read out a little bit of a professional formal bio. So Rishali Jain is a radio broadcaster and producer with media experience of over a decade. Rishali has represented Australia at the UN Humanitarian Affairs Conference of Emerging World Leaders and was the finalist for the Young Professional of the Year award by IABCA 2023. She has worked with organizations like Times of India, Vani Prakashan and Big FM. She has contributed to and edited several anthologies in India and Australia. She is currently a researcher at the University of Sydney exploring the representation of queer characters in Indian publishing post the decriminalization decriminalization <laughs> of homosexuality in India. Yeah. For someone so young You've achieved a lifetime of accomplishments. How amazing is this? Uh, no, it's just a work in progress. I just like to call it work in progress. Very humble, very humble. <laughs> But I'm sure great things are ahead of you. Before we dive into our chatpata topics of the day, which any <laughs> social is is known for, right? We're known for our chatpata right. topics. A lot of people already know a lot about you, Rishali, because you've been in the public space for a long time. But I'm sure there are parts of your life that we don't know about, particularly maybe the early years. So, do you want to tell our viewers a little bit about those years? Nim, everybody uh, tries to talk about what great things that they've done. Hmm. I'll tell you the things that I absolutely failed at, and then I was like, "Nahi karna hai, bhar mein chahiye." So, um, uh, my early years, uh, I th- I don't think I had any other aim other than becoming an IAS officer. Oh really? And I went to Delhi. I prepared for it, and my father put a condition that if he wants to go to Delhi, then he has to do graduation at home. He has to do whatever he wants. He has to become an IAS. Banna. And I missed my names by like 1.5 marks or something. Ouch! And uh, I was like, their loss. Because uh, my classmates who were with me were getting less marks than me. I had studied them. I was like, this is my fault. Now I'm getting their loss. I'm not going to do it. So I was like, how do I tell my parents that they're their loss? They'll say, what's going on? Then I was like, I'm not going to do it. 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 अच्छा किसी को बना बता बिना बताए आई हैड फाइल फॉर दी क्या कहते हैं उसको एप्लीकेशन एंड आई वाज ऑलरेडी राइटिंग अर्निंग ऑन द साइड तो इतना पैसा होता था कि एप्लीकेशन डाल दो करके एप्लीकेशन डाल दी अभी आप कॉल आ गया कि <laughs> इसका तो टेस्ट हो रहा है माय डैड इज लाइक व्हाट इज और इज समथिंग और पूरी बैठक बैठी थी हमारे घर पे ऐसे कुछ टेस्ट देने दो वुड यू बिलीव आई काइंड ऑफ 
came like I was one of the top ten in the tests. Wow! And then I was called for an interview, and then I was amongst the top five in the interviews. I'm gonna say, "Tar chief kar liya jaane to, pad ke wapas aa jaungi." Really, really. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's 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 like how fate lines up things for you. Mm. For uh, campus placements, hote the man. Second day of placement, Times of India is like, "We are taking you." <laughs> उट योर बायो and you've spent uh, obviously a lot of time in media so if anyone in the audience wants to someday do what you're doing today you know be in the media and and do what you're doing what is what is some advice you'd like to give them don't have too many expectations hmm. focus on what you are doing because uh, there's one thing that i was told very early on when i started you're as good as your last story and last show nobody remembers the good things that you've done mm. you're as good as your last story and last show so keep creating those good last stories and last shows and it will be a series of good work that is what i'm aiming at i think that's great advice because bahar se dekho to media seems like you know and it is a very glamorous industry but uh, there's a lot of hard work there's a lot of grind and like oh it's it's sad working i'm bahut mehnat hai bhai you know it, for that 5 minutes of coming on camera or being on air for that one hour you're essentially working for 8 to 9 hours you're oh my goodness you're chasing people for interviews you're you're drafting stories you're thinking of new ideas you're collating work it's it's not one thing mm. it's a lot of hard work and it's a lot of team work you need your team's support i've got an excellent team at work i am blessed to have such people who are so supportive in the community in sydney as well and in australia in general so all of that counts towards it so just keep working and don't think you are making things happen yeah it's a collective effort at the end of the day it takes yeah. a village you know absolutely and there are no shortcuts right ab wo to pata nahi no wo to it's subjective success you have to take the stairs they say that the elevator is broken constantly ab <laughs> success kisko manta hai na koi ye sab bade philosophical discussion hai aur sabka definition alag alag hai ha ha matlab at the end of the day if i can sleep peacefully nahi la theek hai fabulous i love that i love that definition of of uh, success so are we ready to dive into today's topics jo hukum <laughs> <laughs> so vrishali my first question is you've been writing romance for nearly 10 years yeah i have right? been and yet when we were chatting offline you mentioned something very interesting you said romance is overrated i uh, yeah romance is. is overrated says a romance writer okay so I have been waiting to ask you this on live instead of asking you offline what did you mean look uh, nim if you go out in a relationship expecting romance hmm. you're setting yourself up for a disappointment and a relationship for a disaster aapko pata hi nahi hai na ki agla banda kaisa hai you're just attracted hmm. you don't know what you're going to be and romance is not just one thing hmm. for for somebody romance can be as simple as taking a walk after dinner hmm. and getting my day off my chest for somebody it could be reading poems to each other hmm. for somebody it could be singing together for somebody it could be just knowing what kind of coffee i'd like what tea i'd like and ये इतने टेकन फॉर ग्रांडेड चीज है ना कि वो रोमांस में काउंट ही नहीं होते तो उसको पता ही होना चाहिए क्या कर रहा है मेरे साथ इतने साल से इट्स टू बोरिंग इट्स टू बी क्लासिफाई एज रोमांस लाइफ इज इन द बोरिंग यू नो आई हैव ऑलवेज वांटेड टू बोरिंग पर्सन इंटरेस्टिंग लव बहुत खतरनाक होते हैं ओ आई लव दिस दिस शुड बी लाइक द हेडलाइंस आई हैव ऑलवेज वांटेड अ बोरिंग पर्सन पर शायद ये क्या कह दिया आपने भैया इंटरेस्टिंग लोग से बहुत डर लगता है मुझे वो बहुत खतरनाक होते हैं Interesting people do not apply. Yeah. <laughs> And no, please do. Let me go through your CV. I don't know. And let her figure out for herself. How many boring are you? Oh yeah. Uh, interesting. Okay, so um, romance is uh, overrated. There's a really interesting book by Gary Chapman, I believe, called The Five Love Languages, and it is about how everyone approaches romance from a different perspective. यार ये कोई अच्छा टर्म है लव लैंग्वेज क्योंकि ये एक भाषा है जो सबकी किसी की एक जैसी नहीं होती 
कि वॉट इज योर लव लैंग्वेज इफ आई वट वर्ड टू आस्क यू मैम वॉट इज योर लव लैंग्वेज सो यर्स अ थिंग राइट मी एंड माई हजबेंड बोथ अ वेरी लव डिफरेंट लव लैंग्वेज सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर मी इट इज अबाउट स्पेंडिंग क्वालिटी टाइम एंड हैविंग दिस मीनिंग फुल कॉन्वर्सेशन for my husband it is about uh, acts of service you know be doing some practical stuff to help me out and make my life easier i've realized that if you don't recognize the other person's love language or you expect the other person to have your same love language that's where the problems begin right exactly this is what i was trying to get at wo mujhe mere tarike se pyar nahi kar sakta hmm nahi aapko aapke tarike se koi pyar nahi kar sakta aap apne tarike se kisi ko pyar kar sakte hain and how you communicate that is more, what is more important you know nem ek relationship mein aap kala bhad bhad ke sadko par jala sakte hain but that person is mine mm. doesn't make a difference mm. that person has to feel yours to be yours this is something that i say always you are mine is something that i can never claim unless and until you tell me that i am yours yeah if you tell me you're mine then i claim you man mm. then we are having a conversation about a relationship that is romance romance can be anything yaar matlab duniya ke i don't know if you've read satya vyas has written this amazing book called mm. charasi okay hindi uh, publication and satya vyas is one of my uh, very very favorite authors i'll tag him later <laughs> <laughs> But उन्होंने ना आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू नो छठ का त्योहार होता है बिहार में ओके एंड मैन आर सपोज टू कैरी दीज ह्यूज डगराज ऑफ फ्रूट्स एंड एवरी थिंग दैट इज ऑफर्ड टू द सन गॉड एट द रिवर उन्होंने उसके अराउंड उस उस फल से कैसे कांटे गिरते और वो कांटा कैसे एक लड़की अपने इंटरेस्टेड बू को मार रही है उसके अराउंड रोमांस लिख दिया है छठ पे रोमांस लिखा है कि भाई पानी में शक्ल दिख गई और वो पानी बह के मेरे पैर के पास आ गया तो मैंने उसे छू लिया hmm. अब आप लिखिए ऐसा रोमांस रोमांस कैन बी एनी थिंग एज लॉन्ग एज इट इज फेल्ट बाय योर इंटेंडेड बाहर में जाए दुनिया इट माई इंटेंडेड कैन फील इट बाहर सो वन की टेक अवे फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस डियर व्यूअर्स इज अबाउट योर लव लैंग्वेज एंड योर पार्टनर्स लव लैंग्वेज डज नॉट है आइडेंटिकल and your partner does not have to love you in the same way you love your partner the sooner yes. we all realize that the better please don't uh, think ki bahe phaila kar ke shahrukh khan khada hoga main khada hoga bahut mushkil hai so hum itne romance pe baat kar rahe hain now there might be people watching who say but brishali is single what gives her the right to talk about romance to mujhe malum hai kyunki aap bataiye ki you know just so that our viewers know what what okay. makes you our resident expert okay but resident expert is way too much <laughs> i am not an i am not an expert on relationships i have made close I, close i have made my own sweet mistakes but um, <laughs> the idea is uh, and i i am not apologetic about any of them Good but on. oh yes of course yeah. uh, but um, I have like I started writing at a very early age mm. and um, for some reason stories were well received writing was well received anthologies were well received to kya hua ki listeners readers ye apni stories ke sath approach karne lag gaye ki ye meri real story hai aur iske around ab aap ek koi kahani likh do I was like oh <laughs> so um I have chatted with a lot of people I was that go to mama hen for my mm. uh, friend circle out give me your pain <laughs> and i'm here to take it to wo sara kuch kiya and most of my friends are married and they've been married for more than 5 years yeah. they have kids uh, i'm the one who's led her own life and research happened to me mm. but other than that uh, i've had a lot of people tell me share yeah. experiences and my research is based in romance so you're reading academic papers on romance would you believe i am right now reading a paper by sara ahmed that actually defines love academically wow and then it has a section called queer feelings where you're basically talking about feelings that are queer but uh, in a very different sense mm. so it's like I am surrounded by love all the time. And look, the power of research is phenomenal. Oh, right? it, it is. It gives you an insight into society, humanity, what's happening out there, and that's why I enjoy chatting with Rushali because <laughs> she always has so many amazing insights on so many important topics. So that is fantastic. Yeah. That brings me to a very important question. How many romance? Key, like I said, we're talking about romance. Yeah. You are a young, attractive, single woman. 
What is your specific experience as a single person oh, being God. in out here in Sydney, and what are some of the challenges maybe that you faced? Uh, that's a, if that's any, a, we don't have enough time for that. <laughs> <laughs> So young, attractive female, oh my God, you know mm. how, um, so I wasn't always, a, a, an, I was, I, oh, let's put it, I always didn't look like this. A year ago, I was like, I was 36 kgs heavier. No way. And, yeah. And, wow. uh, and uh, people would come to me with like, uh, you've got an amazing personality, but what uh, is looks matter and the other person does not want to approach you and shit. So I was like, okay, fine. I don't want to be approached by them. This is this is perfect, mm. and um, uh, it was a very easy life. But then I realized people consider you easy also. Mm. You were not being approached by the <laughs> oh, the weirdness, and who were in for the shallow thing mm. also. In terms, just not about relationship or availability. In terms of life in general, you're a single person. What do you have going? Mm. You're available for events. You're available for social gatherings, you're available for work, you, because it's mostly because people just assume that if you're single, you don't have anything going on the whole You don't have a life. <laughs> <laughs> so it's more like that, yeah. Knowing Vishali, I know she's one of the most productive, one of the busiest people around. So everyone, it's a myth that single people don't have a life. In fact, they have a rollicking life and they're doing a lot of wonderful work. Oh, in fact, uh, single people have... Uh, more going than the committed ones because the committed ones also have those uh, very shared chores kind of thing mm. ki ye ke chhodna padega, ye karna hi karna. <laughs> Haan, nahi karni laundry bhai, din, nahi karenge hum. Ha, <laughs> kya kya <laughs> <laughs> high five <laughs> Haan, padti, dar lag, tab lagta hai, mammi ka video call aata, fir hum balcony mein baith ke baat kar <laughs> that is funny you mentioned a very interesting word committed versus single okay so that brings me to my next question let's talk a little bit about committed relationships so i've noticed that um, currently a lot of uh, relationships are crumbling because they can't handle the modern day pressures what are your insights on what's happening at the moment yeah, lives in general are very lonely, Anand. Mm. And relationships are not just one thing. Abhi kya hai ki relationship ka structure has also changed. Abhi it's not a purana time where you meet, you get married, you start a life and then figure each other out. People want to figure each other out first before they step into marriage. The marriage has become that M word that people are so scared of. So usme kya hai ki you're figuring things out and we are at ages when we're not ready to compromise on a lot of things. So, there are many things that you what you communicate. Kar rahe ho. Hmm. Everybody keeps telling you that a relationship survives on communication, a relationship survives on communication. My take would be, don't over-communicate. Don't over-commit. What hmm. you don't want to do in a relationship, don't commit. You are on a wheel C basis in a relationship, mm. mat bolo I want a long term life with you. Mm. You are not wanting to remain in that person's life forever, mat bolo marry me. Kyun? force kar rahe tumhe ye sab bolne ke liye? Don't. Okay. If you're on a wheel C basis, keep it on a wheel C basis so the other person is also not attaching uh, expectations out of you. Mm. You build expectations then you're not able to deliver on them. You're stringing along the other person because I can only operate on the information that you give me. Correct. The other person can only operate on the information that I give them. Mm. So, then you say that I did not string you along, I did not make a fool out of you. Mm. You did not intend to, but mm. you did. Correct. <laughs> and that guilt you want to carry not to carry that guilt, you want to carry that guilt, and you don't want to communicate with both of them. So better is, if you're trying, keep it casual keep it casual if you're trying for a committed relationship say i want this out of this relationship this is or at least know a negative list this is what i don't want out of okay. this relationship love it yeah to phir hum figure out kar sakte hain acha ye ye bach gaya ab isme hum kya karna hai are bhai kyu bol rahe ho ki tum chahiye tum chahiye jab chahiye hi nahi to why create that confusion in your life na? Mm. don't mm. you don't Nobody needs that kind of mess and complexities. There is also life enough problems. Hai bhai life. You know, I have 
have met some uh, people who um, have been through these sort of relationships that have crumbled and they've said to me something very interesting. They said I've realized, they've realized that they are not marriage material and they should never have got married in the first place. So I think sometimes if you're not in it for the long run, many times people have that gut instinct that I don't want long term commitment and they still get into it and then unfortunately there are breakups happening and stuff like that. So I think, what do you think, if you feel that you're not cut out for long term commitment, stay out of it, what do you suggest? No, but I, uh, you keep feeling that you're not cut out for the long term until you start feeling you are. Mm. And it's very person to person. I meet somebody, I feel, okay, I found my one and that's it. Mm. And suddenly I am cut out for that long run thing because I... You meet the right person and everything changes. I wrote a lot earlier in one of my stories that if you want to change तुम्हें वो कितने पसंद हैं किसी को तब अपनाना जब उनका जो कुछ नहीं पसंद है तो उसके साथ जी सकते हो so if you figured out somebody that there things that irk you hmm. you can still live with them hmm. that is when you are looking at a long term thing yes. because unless and until that is happening यार yeah, I am a lovable person you stay with me you don't not want to leave me and go but what happens when I'm upset what happens when I'm angry yeah. What happens when I'm... Yeah, when the chips are down, that's when, you know, person is really tested. Because it's not like that Bhagwan Ji has made a schedule that one day you're down, one day I'm down. We can both be down. Absolutely. And then we're on our worst behavior. Hmm. How are we respecting each other that day? Very true. Once you figure that out, you think long-term commitments. Sometimes it happens, your attraction fizzles out and hmm. it fizzles out. Hmm. I, I was <clears throat> talking about this uh, with a fellow podcaster. And she said, Vrishali, it's so funny, hai na? to get into a relationship, both of them have to say yes. It can't happen like that, that one has to say yes, and the other has to say yes, and the other has to say yes, and the other has to say Thank goodness. <laughs> to get out of it, only one person has to say no. I love that. That is so profound. Do you want to repeat that? I really think people need to hear this. You know, to get into a relationship, you both have to say yes. But to get out of it, notice of severment aapko serve kar diya jata hai that this is finished yeah and you can't do anything, anything about yeah. it the floor underneath your feet is opening up and what can you do yeah. you have to deal with that pain mm. because you have to be in it mm. at the end of the day nahi hai to nahi hai na kya kare fir correct very true food for thought indeed you know, I have, I'm very active on Facebook, like you are as well, and I read a lot of the stuff that's posted. And I've noticed one trend that is happening amongst, in Facebook groups, a lot of anonymous posts where women are pouring their heart out about uh, their relationship with their long-term partner who might not have been faithful or who's, you know, they've broken up or whatever, or temporary breakup. And um, when they put out there that my husband has not been faithful and what should I do and when they ask this question 85 to 90 percent of the responses are divorce him, divorce him, divorce him, divorce him, right? Now many times people think that if the partner has been unfaithful that means divorce but we were talking offline and we've been talking and you've done a lot of research on, on all of this. There are many different reasons why people stay in marriages. Yeah, no? See marriage is something I'm not an expert on completely. Mm. I have a very second hand open and I'm um, like experience of seeing cousins, sisters, friends but any relationship there are a thousand reasons to be in that relationship you don't know nobody can decide for you if you need to take a divorce if you need to break up no it's you who need to decide mm. and marriage is specifically you've got your financial uh, things going on somebody has a kid um, if there's no, if, if, if there is no kid, you still have a life that you've built together. There can be long-term marriages. Salon ki shadiyan hoti hain, toorne ke pehle 600 bar sochna padta hai. Family ka pressure hota hai. Let's not forget Indian society is very unforgiving uh, mm. when breaking up relationships come. To certain genders, maring hello, but still, uh, <laughs> a, a woman decides to walk out of a marriage, pagal kar dete hain. Kyu? Nahi hona chahiye. So. There are a thousand reasons why walking out of a relationship can be very hard. But 
wahi hai it's very personal yes. you don't know what's going on in the other person's life you don't know what they've been through you don't know their life experiences you don't know the amount of nonsense they have already taken or sometimes it's like i'm not cut out for it yeah kya karu zabardast yeah. dekhte jeete raho nahi yeah. ho sakta sirf butta thodi hai ki pisenge to chutney bani jayegi mm. fir hame kaun khaye mm. it's not food Correct. it's your life yes. and if you're not able to operate in that life completely choose the course that's best for you but be kind while you're doing it mm. there are other people involved in yeah. it yeah. so you, when you decide to uproot lives mm. there is always going to be pain there is no easy way to uproot lives Correct. but do it in a way where the other person doesn't feel yaar humiliated you don't humiliate them don't yeah. humiliate them which brings me to an interesting aspect of a deal breaker right you know what is the one thing that could break a marriage for every marriage that is a different thing so when i read on these anonymous posts advice that divorce is because of xyz reasons and then these women who continue to stay in these marriages despite maybe a partner having been unfaithful are often judged and called weak but then again it may not be a deal break breaker for them what might be a deal breaker for you i think people need to recognize that sabke liye the reasons for moving out of a long term committed yeah, relationship yeah. are different why baat ho jati hai na ki love ki definition aapke liye alag hai correct me ko nahi me ko shaadi mein pyar ke liye nahi rehna for example it's mm. not me matlab yeah. like an example hai bhi tarike me ko shaadi pyar ke liye karni nahi i did it for the convenience of it yeah. i need it for the societal pressure i need it for my kids i Our wanted security. kids i wanted my security me ko mil raha hai na to theek hai that's a working equation i mean तुम कौन होते हो भाई बताने वाले मुझे रहना ही नहीं रहना mm. मुझे रहना मेरी मर्जी में रहूंगी मुझे नहीं रहना मेरी मर्जी में नहीं रहूंगी इट इज बिटवीन मी एंड माय पार्टनर हाउ आर वी सॉर्टिंग इट आउट एंड इफ वी सॉर्टेड इट आउट रिलेशनशिप become kinder you have to become kinder you have hmm. to become kinder you have to become more considerate even if somebody is wrong you you have to understand ki i know you're in a lot of pain right now but ek baar hmm. ek baar koshish karo ki us dard se thoda sa bhar nikal dekho if there are cheating come back you can't help them you can't do much you can't yeah. do much to phir to waise hi dard karna band karo na kya farak pad raha hai acha hai bach gaye par agar nahi hai to understand na ki you would have been in a very loveless relationship phir kya karte yeah kisko khinchte ab do might sound very very sahityik but rishte ki lash mat dho don't marne ke baad logo ko dhone do aapko ek hi baar uthani chahiye lash jab mar jaye yeah don't make your life a morgue not worth it i also want to tell our viewers here you know those who do put these anonymous posts and ask for advice i know that many times it is just a way to vent and just yeah. a way to to get it out of your butt don't be so vulnerable that you just take advice blindly from people who don't know you who don't know your journey those comment boxes can also be rabbit holes you know jo you want to vent you vent and after a point of time advice shut the comments off mm. you vented you've heard enough people kai baar ye hota hai ki koi mere side pe bhi in my corner i have been wronged meri meri mm. good, and it's it's it's, all, it's perfectly validated okay that you've been wronged and you want somebody to listen to you सुन लिया आप सही थे वो गलत था आपने ये भी सुन लिया बस अब यही रुक जाओ बिकॉज यू नीड टू ब्रेक द साइकिल नॉट गो डाउन द रैबिट हो या इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू कम आउट ऑफ द पेन इफ यू कीप थिंकिंग व्हाट द अदर पर्सन इज थिंकिंग यू कॉन्ट यू हैव टू थिंक कि अब मुझे आगे क्या करना है हाईली डिफिकल्ट बहुत मुश्किल है करना बट इन्वेस्ट इन दैट बिकॉज किसी में तो करोगे तो इसमें कर लो and take professional help take help from those who have Bhai, it's, experts it's, in it you know not from um, chair experts on social media <laughs> underrated go for therapy immediately australia has a lot of options to go to therapy please go to therapy yeah please seek counselors help please vent it out in front of them as much as you can because they are the people who will tell you ki what was right yeah. how much of currency do you have mm. of saying that you were right or you were wrong and what are constructive steps 
And then there doesn't have to be shame around it, you know. There still seems to so be. Why do you need to tell it. people? Yeah. Why do you need everybody in your business? No. Mm. Don't. If it's so bad, don't let people in your business. If they ask you very rudely, tell them it's not your problem. Correct. Correct. Share with people whom you can trust. Yeah. Trust is something that you give somebody, you can't take it back. Mm. So information sharing, बहुत सोच समझ के करना. जब आप अपने रिलेशनशिप्स के रंग कर रहे हो बिकॉज पीपल जस्ट यूटिलाइज योर वॉलरेबिलिटी लाइक एंड वन रॉन्ग पीस ऑफ एडवाइस कैन बी समवंस डाउन डोंट टेक एनीबॉडीज एडवाइस एंड लिसन अंटिल दैट हिट्स योर गट कि यार ये ठीक लग रहा है बिकॉज लाइफ एट द एंड ऑफ द डे एनीथिंग इज अ गैम्बल रिलेशनशिप्स आर द बिगेस्ट गैम्बल ऑफ ऑल यू हैव डिसाइडेड टू टेक दैट गैम्बल यू शुड ऑलवेज बी रेडी कि एक पिटफॉल हो सकता है यार अरेंज मैरिजेस में नहीं होते प्रॉब्लम्स होते हैं तो फिर Why are you taking on so much responsibility? Don't. Yeah, love it. So, बहुत serious बातें बहुत की हमने. अभी let's ask you something really light-hearted and funny. Something I've been waiting to ask you <laughs> on life particularly. कि आपके experiences, some funny experiences तो हुए होंगे in your uh, in your <laughs> I don't know what is it uh, matchmaking हो या search for the perfect prince charming हो या जो भी हो. क्या क्या है है सम फनी स्टोरीज सो सो दिस 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 थिंग आई 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 कीप्स 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 एम 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 एट एट दिस 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 गाय 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 टेल्स Yeah, please. That's the door. Go. <laughs> This is the other one. Come, you're working in media, so you must be a fast and loose girl. Really? I was like, yeah. I they work. actually say these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do, and their mothers also do. It's like you don't have the currency to say this. I was like, yeah. So I'm in Hindi films. I'm seeing like this is how it happens. I told him. I told him. Yeah, I work fast. I wear loose clothes. That's where you should. and and I'm like bhad mein jao oh bhai but that when I actually told them you know mm. if you this can cause for slander I can drag you to a police station better you leave what I I don't take all of this kindly anymore I used to at one point of time and mm. I was like I don't need this shit good on you I like that mm. so then considering we've talked about romance for all this last half an hour what's your idea of an ideal man maybe he's watching I don't know just uh, are you it? watching <laughs> ओके नहीं आइडियल मैन मुझे इंटरेस्टिंग लोगों से अब डर लगने लग गया है तो आई वुड बी लाइक जस्ट दैट समबडी आई कैन कम होम टू समबडी हु कैन टेक मी ऑन माय बैक डे समबडी आई कैन रीड पोएम्स टू एंड इवन इफ ही डजंट अंडरस्टैंड ही जस्ट सिट्स देयर एंड लिसंस टू बिकॉज़ आई एम बिग ऑन पोएम्स एंड सॉन्ग्स यस आई आई you know how if we talk if we talking about relationships and zakir khan has written something very beautiful um ye jo piche chhod gaye ho tum ab samlega nahi ki patthar ko gaye hain aap piglega nahi so you know i just want somebody i can come home to i can hmm. raise a family that very old school I, i need my own family i can i need to raise a family i need to come home to kids i need to come home to a guy who can be a pillar of strength for i'm like and mm. with the world mm. and i can be the same for him yeah. if that's not happening i love cooking i can mm. cook he needs to clean <laughs> you know very you get that that's straight right now that you know the equation khana acha khana hai to fir safai karni padegi bilkul bilkul absolutely those kind of things so for someone who told me at the start of this chat that uh, romance is overrated you're quite the romantic that is why i wrote right romance who would read me otherwise uh, but again romance is overrated because if i just keep expecting these things mm. there will be days they won't want to clean there would be days i would want not to cook there would yeah. be days i would be absolutely okha yeah you know there's this word in marwadi which is okha bahut okhe tarike se baat karti hai main okha ho sakun wo currency hai mere paas ki main tumhare sath okha ho sakti hu because that is the amount of right we share on each other mm. we've given each other that right again i'll go back to the term i don't i can't claim rights Correct. they have to give, be given absolutely fabulous well we have covered some very important topics so that brings us to our rapid fire round okay so i'm going to ask you some fun light hearted questions and you've got to try and answer as quickly as possible okay okay so flat 
फ्लैट शूज या हाई हील्स डिपेंडिंग ऑन आई एम वेरिंग लाइक ऑन माय टायर आई कैन मूड पे होता है अटैक होता है अदरवाइज माय बूट्स अदरवाइज माय बूट्स आई कैन वेयर माय सारीज विद माय बूट्स हम्म लाइक दैट आई हैव नेवर ट्राइड दैट एक्चुअली आई इट्स इट्स अमेजिंग वेरी कम साउंड्स लाइक अ वेरी ट्रेंडी आईडिया ओके मूवीज और बुक्स अल्लाह बुक्स like uh, movies sometimes mm. but i'm a very books person anybody who knows me i st- i've still carried one to tell so you read romance mainly or oh i read a lot of romance i yeah. I, i i don't even know how much romance i've read <laughs> my favorite author is nora roberts and christian ashley and uh, abby green all of them romance how oh, nice yeah yeah okay are you a night owl or a morning person depending hmm. mood Hmm. रात में भी जग सकते हैं सुबह भी उठ सकते हैं सब कर सकते हैं बट ज्यादा एनर्जाइज कब होते हैं ऐसा कुछ है कि सनराइज सनसेट ऐसा कुछ है नहीं डिपेंडिंग डिपेंडिंग ओके व्हाट व्हाट इज योर वर्किंग ऑन या व्हाटएवर इज गोइंग ऑन You're not turning old. You're very much young, very much happening, <laughs> which brings me to my next question. Someone was young and happening. किसी ने कुछ अरे आप कोई कमेंट्स ही नहीं आया जब इतनी बातें कर रहे थे हमने कमेंट्स भी नहीं आए हैं। I should say where are all the comments? We are talking such amazing stuff. Where are all the comments, everybody? Um, अभी long weekend भी है तो शायद कहीं बाद में रात को recording देखेंगे फिर questions पूछेंगे। अगर आप बाद में recording देख रहे हो make sure to uh, share your comments and your insights and ask us some questions, ठीक है? Um, so because you were talking about how fun and happening you are, what's your idea of a fun Friday night? Allah, I have uh, no fun ideas for Friday nights. Friday nights are mostly when I am working on my thesis these days, and uh, it's not just about my thesis. I, uh, I, I, my, I'm a very homebody person. So no loud music, dancing. I music. love dancing. I love dancing, but uh, very desi. मैसेमिकलाइडेज Don't depend on people too much. Hmm. That's something I have learned again in the recent past. Don't depend too much on people, and uh, don't give them your me space. Keep your me space for yourself, and you'll be fine with a lot of things. Because हम अपना loneliness किसी और की ज़िम्मेदारी बना देते हैं, इसलिए ज़्यादा problem होती है. Now Namita Matani saying hi, Nim and hi, Vishali. Hi, Namita ji. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> So again, I'm saying, please do share your comments, insights, questions. Itna acha, interesting topic. हमने आज कवर किया. I mean, romance. Hello, what can get more exciting than that? All right, to come back to our rapid fire. Now I'm going to ask you a very tough question. Okay, are you ready? Okay. I was talking to your mom earlier, and she's such a lovely person. I was talking to her, and we were talking about your food habits and what does Vishali like in terms of khana. And you're quite the foodie, right? You like your you like uh, food, um, very delicious food particularly. So I know that you love idli. <laughs> I do. And I know you love khichdi. I do. So if I had to ask you to choose between one or the other, which one would you? Yeah, why would you make me do that? Nobody can choose between khichdi and idli. <laughs> But if you had to, I don't know. Depending on the day, if I'm feeling like something. and nah, i can't i can't you can't choose i can't. okay then i'm going to ask you another question when i go to a restaurant and i ask idli they ask me idli dipped already in sambar you want sambar on the side no no sambar on the side i can't have a dish <laughs> don't contaminate my food no mere ko karna hai ye ye khichdi ki khichdi hi bas gichmich karke theek lagti hai apne ko baaki sab mein ye don't touch my food yeah please i'm very finicky about my food so tell me uh, those who are watching you like your idli with the sambar separate or you like your idli already dipped in sambar okay i'm, I'm like vishali i like my idli and sambar and no i can't even have fruit chaat for the for the love of life mera sab kuch alag alag chahiye mere ko I will decide what is mixing what, what is touching what. I can't. fair enough. Yes, yes, yes. Um, your favorite cuisine all time? Desi, desi, है ना? Comfort food चाहिए. I mean, uh, we just finished our fast. अभी दस दिन के खत्म हुए. And I literally went on Facebook and wrote, "Ma, dal chawal aur aloo ki sabzi bana do." <laughs> Poor woman, she was so she was so uh, emotional about it. She made me puri aloo sabzi. <laughs> I go, "Kya hai? Na, I had puri aloo sabzi." 
Fair enough. So yeah. Another comment from Namita. So in in our uh, Idli Sambar club, she's joined our club. She also okay. likes her. Okay. Very good, Namita ji. I'm telling you, <laughs> all sound people do that. <laughs> Oh dear. Now we'll have some people commenting saying sorry. The only way. How dare you, Vishali? Dip in sambar. Acha, so desi khana is your favorite cuisine. Uh-huh. So our last question for the day is: What is your go-to restaurant in Sydney that you would recommend? Yeah, if uh, I I found it through somebody at work, and it's in Harris Park. It's called. I'm, I'm, this is not an endorsement, of course, but uh, I like their food a lot. It's Amrit Sarya Karke, okay. and they do amazing soya chaat and amazing kulchas, and I absolutely love them. So See, the problem with this question is, my guests always tell me all these amazing things, and then I feel like, oh, I'm starving. Yeah, so if you talk about food, then what will happen? That's how it will be. Okay, so that's a nice. So if you're watching, that's a, a her Try favorite. Try that. It's a go to place. place so that, that vegetarian is... options ऐसे ही ना थोड़े कम सो a lot of people have a problem with me being a vegetarian also khati kyu nahi are nahi khate bhai tum khao good thing about desi khana is we have so many vegetarian options amazing so many, options like, honestly and you know you can cook vegetarian uh, things with non vegetarian recipes also and they come out absolutely fine i i tried uh, a paneer shashlika mm Oh, oh my god is amazing it was amazing it's 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 great for people who are trying keto and shit also. i watched the movie tarla based on tarla dalal yeah, yeah. and it, there was a scene where she you know makes her vegetarian khana with the chicken curry and all those recipes masalas oh, masalas and it's so true i actually made the curry out of it uh, from a very non vegetarian recipe really? because the masalas are essentially the same there's nothing called as a non vegetarian masala unless and you use you using chicken salt and it तो करी वही होती है उसमें exactly. आपका मैरिनेट भी वही होता है आप उसमें मैरिनेट क्या कर रहे हो वो डिपेंड करता है डिपेंडिंग ऑन व्हाट डिश यू मेकिंग समथिंग इज आर वेरी हार्ड को नॉन वेजिटेरियन बट देन आई हैड फन टाइम खाना बड़ेगा बना था मजा आया हमें खा के हमारे ऑफिस में हमने सबको खिलाया और क्या चाहिए बस है ना लाइफ ऐसी चल जाती है I have really enjoyed chatting with you, Rishali. Uh, we've come to the end of our program. I want you to say a few parting words to our lovely audience. What would you like to say? Yeah, modern life is hard. Go ahead, kiss as many frogs as you want to, but make sure the frog or the frogs don't have a sidekick. Side frog. What does that mean? That they should not already be. With don't such... go for committed people. Don't go for committed people at all. Because if they love you enough, hmm. they leave everything and come. And if you're in the multiple partner verse, वाला thing, वो फिर आपका game है. वो आप समझ लो. वो it's very person to person. But if you're not, if you're looking for hmm. a partner, a good partner, hmm. a, a stable thing, just make sure. इतना ही पसंद हो तुम तो छोड़ के आने दो सब कुछ. आ जाए तो आगे की बात करो. नहीं आए तो अपने घर खुश अब अपने घर खुश वो इट्स लीड्स टू अ लॉट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी सो प्लीज से दैट आइकॉनिक सेंटेंस अगेन इफ यू वांट टू व्हाट किस अ फ्रॉग मेक श्योर या 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 इफ यू वांट टू किस अ फ्रॉग किस एज मेनी फ्रॉग्स और फ्रॉगस एज यू वांट टू बट मेक श्योर दे डोंट हैव ऑलरेडी गॉट अ साइड फ्रॉग अ फ्रॉगस खुश रहोगे मैं सच्ची बता रही हूं दैट इज हिलेरियस बट लुक दैट इज वाइज एडवाइस इंडीड एंड पीपल शुड मेक उसके बाद आपका बत्ती बंद हो जाता है It's sure. like they're giving you so much love. They're giving you the exact things you wanted in your life, and you're like, "ठीक है बढ़िया है सब." But mm. basics lined है. Have mm. your ducks in line, mm. and then tell your frog, "अच्छा ठीक है चलो तालाब में चलें." Cohabitation matter करता है भैया. अगर आपके ducks line में नहीं है तो तालाब में नहीं जाओ frog के साथ. <laughs> so many amazing one-liners. I mean, honestly, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much, Rishali, for coming on the show and talking about a topic that not many people are willing to talk about. And you've spoken so candidly, so openly. It has been an absolute joy to chat with you. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. I am always laughing. Yeah, I'm like this only. <laughs> we are going to continue this conversation right. offline, right? Yeah, so. we will. We will. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, lovely people. Yes. Sorry, you had to say something else. Just take care of yourselves, and even if there's a heartbreak, even if you've put in your best, there are going to be heartbreaks. But mm. just don't stop trusting and don't stop believing in love, because at the end of the day, your version of love 
is what takes you through life mm. so just be honest in the in your own version of love as long as you've been honest aapke paas dukhi hone ke liye zyada karan nahi hai yeah dard dard to khatam ho jata hai yaar zindagi hai bade bade like you said at night if you can go to bed with a clear conscience clear conscience conscious bhi nahi hai mujhe zaruri chahiye nahi maine theek kiya tha na in my mind but theek hona i can sleep some somebody else's pain is not keeping me awake as long as i've not caused itna pain ki mujhe neend nahi aa rahi hai exact because it's inevitable that you will not cause pain you will cause of pain of course because we're all human yeah as long as you know that you've managed that pain or that it was in- inevitable mm. or that you could have avoided it and you've made amends with the person yeah go to sleep yeah nahi kar sakte har cheez ki responsibility mat lo apni le lo utna kaafi hai fabulous thank you so much and uh, thank you everybody again it's the long weekend and you spent a slice of your sunday with us we appreciate that so thank you thank love you, you all okay bye see you next week bye bye